Something you begin to notice when you watch the different whiskey channels are the different kind of glasses they use. It begins to make you wonder, what's the difference? Does it matter? Well, glass can be confusing, especially when you're newer in whiskey. You see the different glasses they use, everything from uh, rocks glass to fancy looking glasses, and you wonder, does it really make a difference? In reality, it doesn't matter, but it does. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So let me go over the three main kinds of glasses you'll see people use. And then there's one bonus tip in case you don't have any of those. First off, rocks glass. Now this is a classic glass you see in most movies when people are drinking scotch or whiskey. So this is what you'll find in most bars when you ask for a neat pour of whiskey is a rocks glass. Unless they're a fancy whiskey bar, they typically just have the rocks glass. Now this is the best glass for ice. But you can still use it for a neat pour. You can still get a lot out of it. You'll get, you'll get a lot of good nose out of it, but it won't be as defined as any other glass, but it's still really good. Next up, you'll see a lot of these type of glasses. This is called a Glen Cairn. Now this is not just a fancy glass for to look more fancy. It smells like rose petals and yes, yes. I'm, a, you know, I'm in a garden when I smell this. And... This actually serves a purpose. The shape of the glass, this tulip shape, helps concentrate the vapors from the whiskey to help you nose it better. So without having to take in as much of the alcohol in your nose, you can get a lot of the other scents and other smells that come along with the whiskey. This is a nosing glass. That's really what it's made for. It's found a lot of use and a lot of uh, legroom with whiskey YouTube, whiskey Instagram. A lot of folks typically use this type of glass and you can find them a lot online but you ha have a hard time finding them anywhere else in bars a lot of places don't carry them but you can usually find these pretty easily especially in some gift sets now another type are the different specialty whiskey glasses there are dozens of different specialty glasses from the kenzie glass to the norlin whiskey glass to some of the newer glasses, they all serve the same purpose, the purpose of concentrating the vapors, just like the Glen Cairn. There are some that are more squat and have a wider opening. Those you won't get as much of the nose from just because the opening is wider, just like with a rocks glass. There's one last bonus type I wanna tell you about, but first, let me tell you, really, it doesn't matter. Use what you like. If you're more comfortable using a rocks glass, use the rocks glass. If you've gotten a lot of Glen Cairn glasses and you really like them, or if you want to experiment between the two, go for it. It really doesn't matter. It's whatever you're best at, whatever you enjoy the most. So really drink what's most comfortable for you. So you know what? It really doesn't matter, but it does. What I mean by that is you want to match the situation. If you're at a party and everybody's drinking out of red solo cups, you don't want to come in with your fancy Glen Cairn and look all pretentious or anything. Match the situation. It really doesn't matter. Even if it's a glass you're not used to using, just match because it, it matters in the situation, but it really doesn't matter. Does that make sense? So now bonus, if you don't have any of these glasses, don't have any of these fancy glasses, you can use a white wine glass. I know this is a champagne flute, I don't have a white wine glass. But it has the same shape to it, a little bit of that concentrated uh, shape to it to help the nose, to help the scent of the whiskey get to your nose. If you have a white wine glass and you're just getting into whiskey, try it. You might be surprised. And I got a secret for you. A lot of distillers, especially in Scotland, use some variation of a white wine glass. So, if you have it, try it. If you're curious about it, try it. Yeah. Now, if you don't know what you're, what you're drinking or about what you're drinking, it won't really matter. So check out this video over here about the different terms you'll find when you're beginning in whiskey. But until the next time, I'll see you later. Cheers.